From the National Weather Service, this is Jonathan Blaze with the routine weekly weather briefing for Central North Carolina. Our briefing now is extending into November. Our period uh, will be from today, November 1st through November 7th, as we uh, begin to experience some more fall-like uh, weather across our area. So just hitting some of the highlights for the weather pattern across Central North Carolina for the upcoming week. Uh, we have a, a, a cold front that is um, uh, forecast to move across our area tomorrow. There's actually a series of weak fronts, to be honest with you, with the main surge of the coldest air coming in tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, that front is supported by an upper level disturbance, with, which could result in some additional cloudiness and even a sprinkle um, late tomorrow, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, uh, up in the northeast uh, portion of uh, our area and up in, really into uh, southeastern Virginia. That should be trivial if any of that occurs. Uh, but the big deal is that a colder air mass, a much colder air mass, uh, is likely to move into the area uh, for the uh, midweek into the weekend. And so we'll be feeling those temperatures and talking more about that uh, here in a moment. That front will stall across the northern Gulf Coast and just off the uh, southeastern United States coast. And in somewhat of a, a winter weather-like pattern, um, we'll have a, an upper level trough move across the area. And that may result in a couple patches of light precipitation breaking out, uh, one uh, likely across the deep south and into the southern Appalachians, and another uh, closer and just off the coast. Uh, for Thursday and Friday. Here in central North Carolina, we may actually be in a little bit of a, a minimum in between those areas of precipitation, uh, but that is generally expected to be light and uh, generally just a rain kind of a, a setup. Don't expect really any thunder or heavier bouts of uh, precipitation, at least here across our area. That eventually will all shift offshore uh, by uh, late in the weekend and uh, a drier weather likely to resume for Sunday into Monday. At this point, it looks like the nicest weather day for the um, weekend will be on Sunday. And that'll be especially true at the coast if you're heading down uh, that way. Uh, so looking at some of the details, uh, severe weather outlook, uh, no thunderstorms really expected uh, in or near our area, so that's not a concern. Uh, the accumulated precipitation forecast, again, dry weather today into tomorrow, could be a sprinkle up toward Virginia on Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, should not be very consequential. Uh, generally dry Wednesday, there's a little bit of painting of some light precipitation here in central North Carolina. That's associated with the upper level disturbance that will be approaching really on Wednesday night. Uh, but again, uh, uh, for most of us uh, today, Tuesday and Wednesday will be dry uh, in our area. And the best and really only real chance of rain for the upcoming week is for the period of Thursday and Friday, and perhaps into very early Saturday, as we have, again, the front stalled along the coast and some showers and rain out in that area, which may leach or bleed back toward our far eastern areas in the coastal plain. And then uh, an upper level disturbance kind of hangs out and uh, uh, develops some precipitation across the deep south and the Appalachians, which uh, may focus and move into the, the western Piedmont. So here in central North Carolina, we may be in a little bit of a minimum in terms of rainfall amounts. But do expect everybody to get at least a little bit of rain for Thursday and Friday. Uh, otherwise, it'll be cloudy during that period. Uh, and the rain, again, won't be terribly heavy. Generally, the amounts will be a tenth of an inch, maybe a couple tenths of an inch, uh, but probably uh, not much more in that far area. Um, uh, so through for the seven-day total, uh, probably about a quarter of an inch, I guess, for most locations. Um, and with that, no excessive rainfall is expected or flash flooding. Again, the rain will be steady, kind of light, more of a cool season type pattern uh, with that. Um, tropical weather outlook. Uh, the uh, uh, National Hurricane Center is actually issuing advisories on a subtropical system called WANDA, way out in the middle of the Atlantic. It's actually uh, east of Cape Hatteras, but uh, several thousand miles east and closer to Europe than it is North America. That storm is more of a novelty than anything, so no concern with that. The 8 to 14 day outlook uh, highlights a below normal um, period of temperatures likely for the second week of November, uh, consistent with really what we're starting off uh, with here in uh, the next few days, and uh, generally a tendency for dry weather. Now, as I hit the weather summary, one thing I want to highlight um, is the uh, potential for frost as we head through the uh, upcoming week and especially into the weekend. 
Uh, so as we have our colder air mass move into the area, we'll have temperatures uh, by the time we get into uh, Wednesday and Thursday and even into Friday that will uh, average 10 to 15 degrees below normal for daytime highs. It'll be a combination of a cooler air mass and a good deal of cloudiness and some spotty uh, precipitation uh, like we had talked about earlier. Keep in mind, normal highs this time of year are in the upper 60s and uh, normal lows are down into the 40s. With a cloud cover, our nighttime lows won't get real, real chilly at first, but there'll be a tendency for our lows to drop into the 30s as we head into Friday morning and especially uh, Saturday morning. And then by Sunday morning, uh, we may have lows uh, well into the lower and mid 30s across the interior of Piedmont. And uh, that's likely to be uh, the coldest uh, morning of the upcoming period again on Sunday morning. So if you're in the US one corridor west, you know, again in the Piedmont, Raleigh, um, Southern Pines, those kind of locations west up into the triad, uh, and you have any outdoor uh, sensitive vegetation, it'd be good to start thinking about how you're going to take care of that. Uh, especially as ahead into Friday uh, night and, and into uh, Saturday night as well. More details on exactly how cold those temperatures will get uh, will be worked on here for the next few days. But uh, certainly the coldest night of the season is coming up as we head into the weekend. And again, we have um, uh, a period of light precipitation for Thursday into Friday. That will keep our temperatures from being real, real cold, but uh, make it feel colder with the clouds and a little bit of wetness out there and then some improving conditions in terms of uh, dry weather uh, for the weekend, especially early next week. But again, quite cold uh, lows, uh, well into thirties, just about across all of central North Carolina and some places uh, below freezing again, as we uh, looks like on Sunday morning. That's really the only hazard we have in the forecast is the cold weather. So uh, with that, I'll uh, uh, close the broadcast and stand by for any questions. We hope everyone has a good week and enjoys the uh, fall like uh, weather pattern coming up.